CompTIA ITF Plus, FC0-U61, Practice Exam. Questions 56 through 60. This video is part of our practice exam video series, and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 56. Which value uniquely identifies a specific record in a relational database? The answer is C. Primary key. A primary key in a relational database is a unique identifier for a specific record. Each table can have only one primary key, and no two records in the same table can have identical primary key values. This ensures that each record can be efficiently retrieved, updated, or deleted without ambiguity. The primary key's uniqueness property guarantees that every record in the table is distinguishable from all others, ensuring data integrity and accuracy. Question 57. An administrator wishes to retrieve all data from a database that meets a specific condition. Which command should be used? The answer is A. Select. The select command is used in SQL, or Structured Query Language, to retrieve data from a database. When an administrator wants to fetch data that meets a specific condition, they use the SELECT statement in conjunction with a WHERE clause to specify the criteria. This allows for filtering and returning only the records that match the given condition, making SELECT the appropriate command for such data retrieval tasks. Question 58. In a program being developed, a number must be stored that can change throughout the program's runtime. Which of the following would the developer likely use to achieve this? The answer is B. Variable. A variable in programming is a storage location paired with an associated symbolic name, which contains some known or unknown quantity of information referred to as a value. The main purpose of a variable is to store data that can be used and manipulated throughout a program. It can hold different values at different times during the program's execution, making it the ideal choice for storing a number that might change as the program runs. Question 59. After an IT technician resolves an issue with a user's computer and verifies the repair, what should the technician do next? The answer is D. Document the findings. Documenting the findings follows after resolving an issue and verifying full system functionality in the troubleshooting process. This final step creates a record of the problem and its solution. This documentation serves multiple purposes. It provides a reference for future similar issues, helps in training and knowledge sharing among the IT team, ensures consistency in handling problems, and aids in tracking recurring issues. Question 60. A company policy mandates that new employees submit an iris scan to address potential future legal inquiries about the applicant's identity. What concept does this scenario exemplify? The answer is B. Authentication. The scenario described is an example of authentication. Authentication is the process of verifying the identity of a person or system. In this case, the iris scan is used to uniquely identify and verify the identity of the applicants. Non-repudiation, on the other hand, ensures that a party cannot deny an action they have taken. While the iris scan could potentially be used for non-repudiation purposes, the primary intent in this scenario is to authenticate the identity of the applicant. Now, did you stumble on any of these questions? If you did, no worries, it happens. Just remember, our free CompTIA ITF Plus training course is your secret weapon to mastering these topics. Access it through our YouTube channel, anytime you feel the desire to learn more. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.